Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got two new exciting kits from Tamiya that I wanted to share with you guys today and actually plan on building both of these. I've been waiting actually for a long time for this uh, this Honda Monkey. It's very reminiscent of a motorcycle that my uncle had back in the 70s that I used to ride around in. And I know this is the more modern day version of it, but it's it's got that nostalgia factor that I've been after for a long time. So very excited about getting this one. I actually heard about this a while ago and we've got our first copy of it and probably will do it in the banana yellow that they show on the side there too. So. Plus also a surprise came in the box. We also got a sample of the new Hummel kit from Tamiya. Now the Hummel kit is going to share quite a few pieces off the Nash horn. The Nash horn it being having the 88 millimeter anti-tank gun, this has the 150, 150 millimeter howitzer type gun, you know, uh, artillery piece. So the, the chassis and the rest of the hulls are going to be the same, but they've gone and updated some other parts on this too. So now, instead of rubber band tracks, we have link and link tracks inside there, just like what they're doing with the Martyr and the uh, the 105, uh, the Vespa. Uh, so really cool that they're doing that. I really like those link and link tracks. They're easy to put together and just a simple all the way around and look really good because they have a natural sag to it. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to actually start on one of these today. I'm not quite sure. I was all set to do this one and then this one was inside the box and I've been wanting this for a while now so we'll figure that out in a minute. But what I'll do is I'm just going to spend a few minutes to show you all the parts inside each one of these kits and then look forward in the next week uh, both of the build videos up. So let's get started. Okay guys, the first kit we're going to take a quick look at is the uh, the brand new 112 scale Honda Monkey 125. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, is back in the uh, the 70s, Honda made a Monkey and it looked very, very similar to this. And in 2019, and maybe even 2018, I think maybe the first ones came out, but Honda reintroduced the Monkey. And it's got all the nostalgic flair to it, just like it did from the 70s, but with an, you know, an updated engine and just a very nice looking... Uh, cool retro motorcycle. Now back then in the early 80s my uncle had one of these and I had a Honda Honda 50, a real tiny motorcycle and we used to ride around like that and just cool to see this. So as soon as I heard that they were coming out with one of these I said oh man I can't wait to build the model of this. The real motorcycle I even looked into those too. The Honda 125 Monkey is a $4,000 little mini bike so I think I probably won't be getting a hold of one of those but we can definitely build this kit up. So let's just take a quick look at the parts inside. Uh, it's gonna be a very simple, straightforward kit. We've got our frame on this particular sprue, gas tank, uh, front shocks. That is your main frame piece. And then we have our chrome pieces, which you can see we've got the, uh, the, the protection plate on the side of the muffler there. That's really cool in chrome. Plus all these other parts are in a nice bright chrome. And then we've got one other sprue and that is the main engine and everything else sprue, we'll call it. Because we've got the little engine in here, the, uh, the disc brakes, wheels, muffler, uh, all the other little parts that would make it up the chain, all that kind of stuff. And some really just beautiful detail on this. What's good about this is this, I loved building that Ducati motorcycle that we had a while ago. And this is going to fulfill that, that uh, motorcycle kick I have right now. Plus, it's a super simple kit to put together. One other thing I wanted to show you, I opened this up already to take some pictures, but uh, some of the extra parts that are going to be inside here. So to me has included real metal springs, so I'm assuming the suspension is going to work on this. We've got obviously the typical rubber tires that to me includes, some nice pattern on that, and some wiring to do the, uh, the inside wire. <laughs> The, uh, the wiring, I guess we'll call it on that. And finally, this is, I love this right here. They're actually giving you this, this rubberized seat because painting it doesn't always look as good as when you, uh, when you have the actual piece made out of rubber. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy kit to put together, not too much on it. The main part is just gonna be painting. And the last couple things I thought I would show you is that there is a little masking sheet in here and this is to do the gas tank. And also there is a sheet of decals. Nice bright colorful ones on that. 
And I've also gotten a request quite a few times from you guys, uh, which I'm going to show you right now, is to sh just briefly show you the uh, the instructions so you can get a, a general feel on how the, the kit goes together. Uh, this is just a one pager, so I'll just like slowly just scan and let you see. So that's why I'm really excited about this kit because it doesn't look like it's going to be that difficult to put together. And here is our rear shock. So the rear shocks are going to work on this kit. Or maybe they won't. They actually they might not work on that. And they might just be for the spring detail. <laughs> and flip these around. And that's why I think I can have this kit done probably in about two or three days. So just just working on the painting, which this will be nice too, that painting the gas tank, that's the only part we have to actually mask. And that is all done separately. We can then drop it into place. And I am kind of leaning towards the uh, the yellow. And they're recommending TS-34, which is camel yellow. It's kind of an orangish yellow, and I like that color a lot. Plus with the white, I think it'll look pretty good. But we'll see how it goes. I might still do the red, because Honda and red kind of go together. And there we go. So let's get on to the next kit. Okay, now we're going to take a look at an exciting kit. This is one that kind of just got surprised on us about, I found out about about two weeks ago now, uh, started to start to pop up on some of the websites uh, like Facebook and things like that. And this is the uh, late production Hummel. And as I was saying earlier in the intro of the video, the, the entire chassis right here, this is all based on the, uh, the Nash horn. And what we they've added is 150 millimeter artillery piece plus a new crew and some other new sprues. And this is actually great to see to me at doing something like this because this is something that a lot of people want but don't want a kit that has a five million parts to it. So this will be an easy to go together type kit. And to start off, I'm gonna first show you all the parts that made up the Nashorn. So we have our, our main chassis, some of the fenders, the uh, superstructure in the back here. This is unchanged from the original kit. Uh, the, the hull itself is a bath, a mostly bathtub style hull. And in fact, it still has the stampings from 2014. So even the, even the NAS horn was brand new. It was in 2014, only four or five years ago. So there is that hull. That is all the same parts. And the only other parts that are gonna be shared are the, uh, the wheels. And their pans are four wheels, but they're all new. Drive sprocket, return idler, and then the suspension pieces right here. So those are pretty nice looking. Now we're gonna get into the new pieces. And to start off right here, we have this main sprue, which is basically consists of the 150 millimeter gun. So we have a two part barrel, but looking at the side of the box, which we'll kind of jump back over there, there is a metal barrel detail part kit that's coming out on this right here. So it's going to be good to have that. Unfortunately to me, it did not have any of them ready when they sent them to us. So we can build it as it is. And uh, there might be a way that we might be able to switch it out for the metal barrel once it comes out. But if not, we can sand that barrel down and get a nice look out of it. It's, it's basically just a tube. And you can see all the different parts on there. And here is the new figure sprue. So we've got three figures in different poses, loading up the back, some boxes. And finally, this is what I'm very happy about. And I was telling you earlier that they've upgraded it to the link and link tracks. So we have these link and link tracks right here. So you've got giant sections of track. And the only thing you have to really build up are these basic track links right here to wrap around the drive sprocket, drive sprocket and the idler. So not very difficult at all. Plus, they've included some shells with it. We can paint those up. And finally, there is a little parts bag in here with some tow cable, poly caps, which means all the wheels will look like they'll uh, go on separately, plus a screwdriver, which I don't remember a screwdriver in the Nashorn kit, but uh, possibly. Maybe that's what's going to attach the gun up inside there, but we'll figure that out because we're going to take a look at the instructions as well. Since, like I was saying earlier, so many of you guys have requested that. Before we get to that though, this is the uh, the color chart that comes inside of it. 
So it's got to break down some, some history on the vehicle and then some color plates that you can either do it in all dark yellow or in the uh, three-tone camouflage. And then some multiple languages of some of the history as well. And finally, we'll take a look quickly at the instructions. It's a larger instruction book than normal. And you can see all of this is the exact same because I built the Nashorn not too, too long ago. And oh, there's, so here's where we get the new part where we're putting on the tracks the way I was telling you. And it's going to be nice because they have a nice sag to them already and they don't break down over time. Sometimes the rubber bands, it will dry out and crack on you. These will not. These will stay that way forever. And some of the stowage boxes, things like that. Needless to say, this is not going to be a super difficult kit to put together. Uh, typical to me, a quality. And this is going to be uh, a nice artillery piece to add to our collection there. Let's see if that screw... I don't see that screwdriver listed anywhere in here unless I missed it earlier. But I'm sure it's required or they wouldn't be putting it inside there. Yeah, so this is... Although it says 40, uh, 4, 46 parts adding the figures in right there, it actually looks like this is something that can be done in just a matter of days too. So excited. I mean, obviously I was telling you earlier, I'm going to plan on build both of these kits. So expect videos on both of those. Well, there you go guys there's a quick breakdown of the two new great kits coming out from Tamiya and I've also got notification that both of these kits will be due out in the United States in late May. Uh, the Hummel has a retail of $64 in the United States. The Honda Monkey has a retail of $36 in the United States. To give you guys a general idea of what they're going to run. Now, obviously, in different parts of the world, they might come out at different times, but that's what they're going to be out here or supposed to be out here. Also, I want to recommend to you guys that if you have a chance, go over to Instagram and you can follow Andy's Hobby Headquarters on Instagram. And what I like to do on Instagram is I'll post shots of the build as we go along so you can kind of see how it's going together. Different little things we'll put on there just to show how the kits are going. So Instagram at Andy's Hobby Headquarters. Also, if you're new to YouTube, which a lot of you are because we get new subscribers all the time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down in the corner down there. Uh, it's free, it's easy, and it'll let you know every time a new video comes out. So if you guys want to see the actual build videos of these, which like I said, well, should be out in about a week, both of them, uh, you go ahead and down to subscribe, and you have to ring the bell too. There's a little bell, and that is a notification symbol that YouTube will just let you know every time a new video comes out from our channel. So... Hey, that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.